hello everyone so in this lecture i will explain about uh, dashboard design and uh, how to make a dashboard beautiful and more attractive so in the previous lecture i have explained um, like what are the best practice like what are the things we should uh, keep in mind while designing a dashboard so this is just an example of dashboard and this is created by uh, domo itself i have not created so i am presenting it to just to show the uh, how it is well organized because when i saw this dashboard uh, i liked it that's why i just wanted to explain this dashboard and i will show you how can we organize so uh, it's a very well organized dashboard so here it's a this is a header and it's given like a retail story so this dashboard is uh, telling the retail story so the first collection revenue so for any business any kind of business the most important thing is revenue this is the very high priority thing like as a owner or as a management first they want to see the revenue how much they are getting from the business so definitely this is a high priority card so now this is uh, this type of cards uh, at the top and gross revenue first because this is one of the highest priority then gross profit then gross margin okay now uh, if we go little bit down then first in at the first level we have seen the summary okay now we are going to expand little bit now revenue by state revenue by store type revenue by location revenue by regional manager so based on the priority uh, domo has organized the chart so in our real time example like when we uh, work for uh, any real time project we have to organize in the same way so next when i go to the next collection this is the next collection like another collection like after revenue uh, this is about product performance summary how the products are performing okay so first the average selling price of the product so in the first quarter and then next quarter it increase and this is the prediction for average selling price and this is average item per order and this is average order value so in per item per order how many number of items are there so this is the average value for every quarter and average order value like how much uh, consumers are ordering on per average per order and then volume by category and color like for skinny uh, category and for red color the volume is highest it means like this is most uh, uh, preferable i can say it's a most demanding uh, category and color so another is volume by style so we can see this overhaul style has a huge demand compared to other styles so based on this uh, like uh, management will organize their store based on this also management will organize their store and they will in the uh, future like in upcoming days they will uh, have a stock based on this data so now let's uh, try to understand how to uh, organize this dashboard so first we have the option to give uh, access to the dashboard so we can add the user another we have option to add filter so we can add filter and um, this we can add filter on entire dashboard and next we have a plus option to add existing card create new card assign card creation if i assign card creation to someone then they will create a card for this dashboard and this is to uh, share like there are many way to share one uh, when I click to share, we can add the users. From here also, I can share the dashboard. Then uh, I can see this as a slide show. I can publish as a slide show. I can export as a PowerPoint. Then export as a PDF. I can schedule this entire dashboard as a report. And uh, in the schedule, uh, this report will uh, go will uh, be this report will be received by user through email on scheduled time but in the send now when i click on send now and i configure the send now then the report will triggered now only and as this schedule as a report and send now both i have already explained in um, 
report scheduling. So both are same. Now next is edit dashboard. So other things are also there. Like I can create a copy of dash dashboard using save as. I can open conversation with uh, any of the user. I can edit scheduling report. Can add as a favorite. And then we can convert this into page also. But let's go to the edit dashboard section. So in the edit dashboard section, we have the option to edit and change the dashboard. So first, like how do we want to see either desktop or mobile? Let's see in mobile how it will see. It will show. So when I open this dashboard using the mobile, it will show like that. But when I click on das desktop, uh, the layout of the report will be like that. Another option is change background. So as of now, we are seeing uh, we have a black background with some image like this is we can change the background as per uh, suitable like whatever color we think like it uh, whatever color we have in mind that will be suitable for this dashboard we can use it. So we have a two option either image fill or color fill. So um, now in this we have applied Domo has applied image fill so we can see that in the background there is image but we have option to apply color fill also so we can apply color also like we can give any of the color to the, this dashboard or we can uh, any of the color we can apply to this dashboard that's not a problem okay so this is let me cancel this because i don't want to uh, save this because this is already looking so beautiful for me now again i came to the edit dashboard another is display mode either fix width auto width so as of now i think now it's a fix width let me click on auto width so now it's converted to auto width so the dashboard size has increased when I click on fixed width, now the width got fixed. So this is all about uh, how to change the dashboard layout, I mean backgrounds and how can we see the dashboard. Let's click on page break, nothing. Okay. And now these are the things uh, we have available to uh, add things in the dashboard. Just example, when I drag this, this is a header. Okay. So I can give the header like title summary. We can give the header. Let me remove this because the header is already there. Another is if I want to uh, add some layout, like how many number of card uh, based on like uh, just example, if I have to add three cards, so um, I can add layout here and in the layout, I can select the uh, layout based on our uh, requirement like how many card I need to add if I add a layout where two card is there then still I can add some more card that's there is no restriction on that so these are that uh, popular all template basics banner and general so we have all the things available we need to play on that like how many cards we are going to add based on that we can add layout next is uh, card so it's a simple when I drag this I have option to add card just simply add the card from anywhere add the existing card create new card assign card creation we can add in te add text we can add image we can insert vari variable uh, we can add something from app store that is I think we can uh, from app store we can add some pre-built app or we can um, insert a uh, app here and can create that so this insert from app store for this I have one example like DDX card that I will cover in another lecture and this is uh, insert variable this is also I will cover in another lecture uh, how to use variable and how to uh, use a uh, DDX card and how to add DDX card in dashboard okay and this is the um, text so we can add text uh, card also so this is text card so we can add text card here here and in the text card we can write anything we can customize the text so here we can write some paragraph like if the user has requirement to write something about the report so then we can add this text uh, in the dashboard using this text another is app store app uh, it is same as the app store like using app store we can add uh, any ddx card or any app that i have 
have already explained okay so i can add anything that is available on app store so this thing i will cover in another lecture and this is control or segment okay so this part i will cover separately like app store uh, ddx card variable and control these things i will cover in separate uh, lecture because these are very uh, important things in domo and these are very useful that's why i have planned to cover in another lecture so this is the way how can we organize the chart and how can we or uh, design the chart so this is this is all about our uh, dashboard design in domo thank you